Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Sponges Uncensored. This week we will go deeper into the phylum periphera. My name is Coral Reef and I am your host. Holy guacamole, look at all those peripherals. As you can see, some of them are sessile. For the majority of the life, the periphera is sessile. Although, during the larva stages of life, they are motile. Until they undergo metamorphosis is when they stick to the ground of the sea or maybe the surface of the rock. As you can see, these are the giant vase sponges. Look at their glass-like exterior. Oh no! One of my favorite parts about sponges is all how they reproduce in so many variations. By budding, branching, or even asexually. You see, if a part of a sponge is broken off, the other part can grow into a complete individual organism with the same genetic makeup. These two have the same genetic makeup, though they each came from the same one. Peripherals are very, very uncomplex life forms, but they're so interesting and fascinating. Just look at them all. I hope we can find some red bearded sponges. Those are my favorite ones. Patrolli. It's the red bearded sponge. I've never seen this one before. So up close, all my science colleagues down at the university will be so jealous. Just look at that. Oh, the fine pores of the red bearded sponge. So rare and exquisite. Oh my gosh. I just realized something. I am underwater. <laughs> I'm underwater and I'm talking. And I'm inhaling water, and my air has run out. I'm in the depths of the ocean. This is my perishable fate. <gasps> Good morning, everybody. We're here today to mourn the loss of a great friend to all of us and an excellent marine biologist. We're, we're with our here with our friend today, Coral Reef, who unfortunately is forever sessile because of the contribution she made to our cause and what we're doing here. We now know more about the reproductive capabilities of the red-bearded sponge. I think from all of us here at Inatech, thanks Coral, you really have made a major contribution to our cause. And I just hope that we can remember you forever and ever. And you have been a true woman of science. Thank you, everybody.